Hello everyone, welcome back to Video Pop Vlogger's channel. In today's video, we will show you how to use Adobe Project Leo to create some simple graphics to enrich your video content. If you're interested in this one, keep watching the video. This time we will be using an online editor from Adobe called Adobe Project Leo. First, open your browser and go to this website. On the home page, click Start Designing and then log in with your Google account to enter your main page. You can watch some examples from other users. Or click Create a new design in the upper right corner to enter the editing page. The page is divided into three areas. The left side is a tools and graphics area. The middle is a preview area. And the right side is a properties panel. At this point, you will see that some graphics are already placed on the main interface. We can select and delete them. Then in the inspector on the right, find outer and change your background color to green. You can change your color type to RGB and adjust the parameters to 0, 255, and 0. Then return to the main interface. Select a graphic like from the toolbar on the right. For example, I will choose the star here and click anywhere in the preview area to create a graphic. Next, let's switch to a select tool. Click the graphic and some adjustment handles will appear. We select this small square and drag it down to make the star thinner. Then hold this arc to rotate the graphic to a suitable position. In the right properties panel, find color and change the color of the graphic to one you like. With them, we find the bottom at the top. Click it and select expressive. Finally, click frame all at the top to center the graphic on the screen. Then we can click here to download. Choose MP4 video and select the motion mode you like for the graphic. You can click here to preview the animation. Once finished, it, click render and download and wait. After creating several small graphics using this method, we open video Vlogger. First, Let's import a solid blue laser into the video track. Then click here to enter the settings interface. Change the background color to white. And find the mask in the effects. Drag it into the effect track. And adjust the radius value in the inspector. Click here to take a screenshot of the screen. Re-import the image into the video vlogger. Delete all the content on the timeline and import a screenshot into the video track. Adjust the size of the image in the preview window. Enter the motion editor. Set a keyframe on the first frame to fit the box to a screen. Then set a second keyframe at one second to keep it still. Set a speed to smooth the speed on one. Then return to the first keyframe. Click here and adjust the aspect ratio to custom. Merge your box together like this. Click apply to return to the main interface. Next, we create a multiple overlay track and import the graphic animations we made earlier. Select one and place it in the overlay track. Fit it to a screen first and then find chroma key, enable it, and enter the motion enter. As before, we set a keyframe on the first frame to fit the box to a screen. Then move the box until it is completely off screen. Set a keyframe at one second and move the box to the center, ensuring the graphic appears at the edge of the screen. Set a speed to smooth a speed on one and click Apply to return to the main interface. Process the other graphics in the same way. 
and finally, a suitable text in a simple graphic animation is complete. Well, that's all for today's video. If you want to know more about all the tricks, what has been going on with the video pop blogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye.